Hi, in this video I'm going to show you this nice little device here which is used for joining external Ethernet cables. So pretend now you've got a camera up at the eaves of your house and you want to relocate it to a new place, then instead of running a complete new cable back indoors, which would be the best thing to do, you can get away with using one of these and then running a new Ethernet cable to the new location of the camera. Or let's say if you've had some gardening work done and they've cut through the cable, as long as you've got enough slack to do it, if you were to install an RJ45 on one end and an RJ45 on the other end of the brake, then you could use this to make it nice and waterproof so it will get you out of trouble in a lot of situations so basically good thing about it is it's a little slit in this waterproof part here and it will allow you to put the cable in when it's terminated so here I've got two patch cables just as an example in the video and this will do shielded and also non-shielded and cat 5e and also cat 6 cables as well so let's just terminate up these two cables pretend now that this is already existing and we're putting on this one here so we're joining the two of them up so we can undo this side completely and we can also undo this side completely and inside what we have is a standard coupler and it's straight through so basically it's the same as having one continuous cable. You can see it's labelled up there as Cat6. So that's it there, and it's shielded as well. So if we were to go on to pin one on one side, you will see it will come up pin one on the other side as well. So I'm on the left-hand pin here, and the left-hand pin here, and you can hear we have continuity. So it's straight through. We have a nice little rubber seal just here, and just here and that's what makes it waterproof when this screws up against here and this will make it waterproof on the cable this is actually ip67 rated so it is waterproof so we're going to push out the inside bit here we're going to keep the writing on the outside so let's say now this is the cable we're going to be joining to this one here so we're going to pass this through here to begin with and then because it's got a little slit in it it makes it nice and easy to put through there writing on the outside and then we're going to pass this through here and we're going to plug this into here, like so. So first of all, we're going to do up this one here first, making sure not to cross thread it. And you can see it screws up nice and tight against the rubber seal there, but we can give it a nice good twist at the very end. Now we're going to place this into here, like so. And by doing this bit first, you can see we're not going to have any problem with the cable bunching up inside. And then we're going to do this up here. And you can see what's happening here. This is pinched all the way around here to make it nice and waterproof. Now we're gonna do the same on this side. Push that out, open this up onto here, pass it through and put it onto here. Lock this in. So that's twisted on there, put this into here making sure all the fingers are nice there and just tighten this up. Now when it's all together, it's nice and easy to make sure everything is nice and tight. So that's tight there, that's tight there, and that's tight there. So that is everything now, nice and tight. And that will be nice and waterproof. And we're still gonna have continuity from here to here. So it's a nice, easy way to do it. Even if you're up a ladder, you're gonna be able to do that quite easily. So it's a lovely little item. I'm gonna put the link to the eBay seller down in the description down below. And when we plug it into a cable tester, you can see it's running through all eight wires there. This isn't a shielded cable, remember? That's it, nice and straightforward. They cost around about 15 to 20 pound here in the UK delivered, but it might be useful, might get you out of trouble and save you a lot of work having to run a new length of cable. Thanks for watching.